Dempster fighting out of Banbury Martial Arts Clubs. Absolute regulars here on Battle Arena. And they always come and make a statement. And just just off camera a few moments ago, you were telling me that Louise Dempster has uh, has quite a martial arts history. Yeah, she's a uh, she a long time a long long time ago. She was a a full time uh, instructor martial artist at fighting out of a uh, fighting fit. And then she had a baby, and I took her job <laughs> many right years on. ago. But she was a kickboxing champion. Just had a couple of kids, a little time away from competing. But she joined Banbury Martial Arts Club. She's done about a year of grappling to add to all that striking experience. And she's coming in here for her first uh, mixed martial arts fight. But feeling very confident. And obviously that experience of getting in the ring before is going to set her in really good stead for this experience. So Louise Dempster looking to get, break back into the martial arts scene, which is favoring MMA here in the UK now. So yeah. Louise Dempster, a mother, you know, hell hath no fury like a mother who's about to whoop your ass in the cage. So we'll see how this goes. And uh, I might end up sounding biased on this one, Stevie, so you've got to balance me out. I'll try my best, but I'm biased as well. You've got a couple of kids, and you're in that kind of shape, and you're in that, in that cage. Way to go. Way to go. She got them abs. Way to go. Louise Dempster. She's enjoying the moment. And Louise's husband, Ollie Dempster, another uh, very active martial artist as well. <laughs> Great. Got Gavin oh. Stewart in her in her corner. Tenth Planet Purple about now, I think. If I'm oh. oh, good. To be believed. Tenth Planet. Josh Neal, purple about under Max Campos. Very qualified corner. Anna Askvik from Pancrase, Stockholm. Stockholm as in Sweden. Not from Frontline. Well, they're all Scandinavian, right? <laughs> That's slightly racist. I'm, I'm about to say this before she even walks out, but probably I'm betting blonde haired, blue eyed, maybe about seven feet tall. <clears throat> Angry. Drinks the blood of her victims. Was an extra on the TV show Vikings. <laughs> No! Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> what can I say? Called it. Might I say, though, you're very good looking. Uh, if you would like to come over and have a photograph with Chris and I after the uh, the fight. We are available. People, do, We are available for photos. I don't think we're like, people like our voice. I get people go, can you say something? I had someone backstage asking to say something. They In your wanna... commentator voice. They don't, yeah. they don't know that you speak completely differently. Yeah, I'm, I'm a cockney geezer. You're right, love. Such a geezer. <laughs> but back to Anna here. We don't really know much about Pancrase Stockholm. They haven't been represented here at... Um, I know they got the frontline guys in the corner, so I assume they're oh associated. Dear. Oh, dear. They're probably part of the same crew. Same kind of grappling prowess. Yeah. Interestingly, at frontline, just had a lot of the people, people that were competing at ADCC last week coming through their doors. So a lot of high-level grapplers have been there over the last three weeks. Yeah. Has that made any impact in Anna's preparation for this fight? And as you say, this could be a classic striker in Louise versus grappler in Anna Askvik. This is a straw weight fight, 115 pounds. People keep saying this could be fight of the night. I'm wondering what that patch is on the back of Anna's back. Pasta? Nicotine. Supposedly that helps actually with fighting. Oh, it's like mental stimulation. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. I read an article about it years ago. I've got the touch of the gloves. Now, Louise, the mother Dempster. Anna Askvik, double A. On paper, Louise would have the, the advantage in the striking, but she's been tagged a couple of times in this exchange. That's, it's a whole different look when you've got the threat of takedowns. You see those hips sit back a little bit. You can't fire off those kicks. And there she does. She fires it off very quickly to the leg of Anna Askvik. We've got a reverse of styles here. We've got Southpaw in Askvik and Dempster in the orthodox style. This is our fourth fight here, uh, third fight here at uh, Battle Arena It's the most composed one we've had so far, both fighters. Footwork, angles, not just loading up on every shot. 
feeding them out. I like the angle there that Dempster got on that, that inside leg kick, or what could have been an inside leg kick, lead leg kick. I think Dempster will start reading Askovic because you see Askovic sitting down on a lot of those, those left jabs. Yeah. Now she's switching stances. Askovic's got a little mouse under the left eye already. Clearly, Louise has landed a couple of heavy shots. A couple of them are sneaking through. Also, you're seeing that Askovic's breathing. She's got her mouth open. There you see her lunge in for a takedown and lands a knee on the, uh, on the way up. You wonder how much Askovic knows about Louise's background because... You know, if I was fighting someone that was a kickboxing champion that only done a year's grappling, I would be just shooting a takedown straight away. Faking high and going low. Jab and check hook there from Dempster. You can see Dempster's experience in the striking. She's so composed. Little counters, just leaning, just a millimeter out of the way, not to get hit. Yeah, not loading up anything, but she isn't finding the cage craft as easy. Well, the, the thing is, leaning against the ropes in a, in a boxing ring or a kickboxing ring, you can lean quite a lot. You can rope a dope. You and can't do that away. against the cage because you're held in place by the height of the cage. And she walks onto a right hand and another one. Does Askovic, and now she's clinched up on the side of the cage with an underhook. This would be smart work by Askovic if you can hold her there, work some knees, take her out of her kickboxing background and... Uh, but again, make her do some MMA. Louise was the one with the head position there. Askovic doesn't quite have it. Nice. There you go, Louise Dempster back to head position there and being able to keep her off. But she is sitting her hips back rather than battering them into her. And sometimes when you have just one thing you want to do, you know, you want, you want to stop takedowns and stay on your feet, it can make things simple. You're not, you're not like, oh, should I pull guard, should I do this, that, and the other? You just know, I've got to separate, back to striking. Asker's still got that head position, but eating knees for her trouble. Got that good head position. It'd be lovely to see if she had a wrestling game where she could take that single leg. Instead, she pushes off. Oh, great little strike on the break. Yeah, that glancing right hand didn't quite land for Dempster, but Askvik now exchanges kicks. Oh, they're oh. landing the takedown at the very end. It's so frustrating when someone gets a takedown at the end of the round. It can just sway the judges just that little bit of who finished on top. Good show of, show of sportsmanship from both ladies here. This is our first female fight of the night. Great great first round. High level skills shown by both uh, fighters. You can see Louise Dempster's uh, striking experience and then um, Askovic's movement, her grappling, her that takedown at the end. Great skill by both ladies. Yeah, you just want to see Louise have a little bit more confidence in her grappling because she did have that head position con consistently up against the fence and she could possibly reverse the position and land knees of her own. She's got to make this a bit dirtier. That's the problem with strikers. They all want to do something that, that is aesthetically pleasing. What wins fights is being a bit of a pit bull in there. It doesn't know. always have to look good. We know that she's got good fundamentals because she's fighting out of BMAC, Bamri Martial Arts Academy or club. It's a... Uh, they have so many good fighters come out of there. Great coaches. Gavin Stewart, Stuart Davis. And constant seminars by the greats, like the likes of um, John Wayne Parr. Yes. Next week, um, One Punch Pricket. One Punch Pickett, Brad Pickett, former UFC star. So they are getting a lot of high-level coaching. There you go. Leg kick. Good combination from Aspect coming in. She's getting punches and bunches. Striking notice is noticeably not as crisp in Askovic's corner. If I would have been in Dempster's corner, I'd be telling her just to just to ensure that she... Um, oh, there you go. That patch came off. Nicotine patch on the foot. Oh, there you go. There goes the front line secret weapon. It's gone. No more nicotine patch. That could be the TSN turning point, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, a lot more crisp, crisp striking coming from Dempster. But she is getting bullied a bit. She's getting pushed around in this, fence, in this fight. A nice little left hand from, Ask from Dempster. Lands. Dempster's doing really well when she's got space. When she's in the middle of the octagon, she can move in and out. It's when she's being pressed up against the cage. It's just, it doesn't play well into her experience. And there you go, get pushed back. She needs to circle, circle, circle down. But she eats a couple of knees up there and towards the middle. And those really take the wind out of you and the fight out of you as well. Asper can do a lot of damage here by landing knees to the legs, knees into those thighs. Yeah, she just, just seems to have a little bit of a strength advantage. She's definitely taller, managed to lean on 
on Dempster a little bit, and it, it's so wearing, especially if you're a striker and you're, you're very composed and you're used to pacing yourself in a, in a boxing fight, a kickboxing fight. Adding in this wrestling element can be so exhausting. Not to mention these double underhooks that Asfix is, looking, is using right now. She doesn't have the head position. She's not really worried about that head position. She's got these double underhooks and she's landing knees at will. And it doesn't seem like Dempster has any sort of response to this. You'd like to see her clamping down on those, on, on those overhooks. And maybe, right now she's got her hips in front, so there is the possibility of a throw there if she knows what she's doing. She's doing well, trying to turn in. Eskovic has got such good control though. Speaking of seminars at BMAC, I'm always available for a wrestling one, guys, if you need it. I can't recommend Steve enough. Book him quick. There we go, there's the overhook from Dempster. Can she use it a bit more? She really needs to put her shoulder in that, put a little bit of pressure on Askovic's elbow. This is a good strategy from Askovic. She was maybe coming off just slightly worse in the striking exchanges, but she's definitely controlling these grappling against the cage exchanges. So keep the fight here, keep it where you're winning. Not doing a huge amount of damage, but we're just winning the round. Yeah, she's really slowing that pace down and making making Dempster carry her a bit more, which is going to, in the end, slow down the punches, slow down the strikes. I'm a little bit troubled here by Asfix. Like she, for some reason, Anna's not getting her hips in front. And if she's looking for the takedown, that's... There you go. Dempster reverses the position. Asfix breathing heavily. Dempster very composed here. Oh, great right, right hand. Two right great right hand. hand. Come on, finish this round strong, Miss Dempster. Or Mrs. Dempster. Yes, big right hands land, left and right. Galore. That is the good key round, there for Louise good Dempster. Round. When she's not being Love held this. up against the cage, she gets these counter rights going. When she, she needs to be controlling the middle of the octagon. Every time she's getting pressed backwards, circle, 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 get back to the middle. But it's so difficult when you're used to a boxing ring to come in a cage, the angles are tighter on the corners. It's a lot smaller than a standard size boxing ring. You know, in a, in a boxing or kickboxing fight, the referee would break you. Here, you've got to fight your way out of it. It's exhausting, but great performance by both fighters. Yeah, very good performance so far. A lot of athleticism on the part of, An of Anna. If I can spell it. Askvik. Anna Askvik. And Louise Dempster, really composed. You, you saw that so well there in the latter part of the second round where they break away and she just starts landing those lefts and rights at will. And that might be the difference here. Kickboxing's a bit of a danger right now for Louise Dempster. I think she needs to keep it to just straight boxing. Start setting up with feints, lead everything with the jab. It'd be amazing to just hear what that corner has to say to her right now. But it's all going to be decided here in this third and final round. Both fighters looking quite composed coming into the last round. Conditioning not a problem for these two ladies. Calls of everything you got there from the BMAC corner. Counter right lands for Louise. Don't want to see too much left and right. Left, left, right. Leading with the jab, of course, but showing different looks. It seems like they got the message there. They're doing a lot more boxing. She's lighter on her feet. Oh. Good kick comes up. Right hand, left hand. Oh, she's got to get out of this clinch position. She doesn't want it. She gets pressed up against the cage again. This is eating up precious seconds for Louise Dempster. How have you scored this fight so far, Steve? <laughs> I hate to say two rounds to none right now because of the takedown at the end of the first and just the control there. Louise Dempster's doing a lot. She's got a lot of very good looks, a lot of great striking, but just a l you know she's so far behind in the grappling prowess. Not that, not that Anna Askvik is, is a grappling standout at all. She's, doing, she's just doing well to control the cage. I will say, for a year's grappling, she's done so well. She hasn't been taken down. She's reversing these positions against the cage. But yeah, just got to give the advantage in the grappling to ask a bit. Yeah, she was taken down more in a, in a scramble off a caught kick there. So there we go. We got Ty Plum there for Askvik. But a knee lands for Dempster. Oh, nice. oh yes. A little trip and oh, yes. shots. That's the active hips I wanted to see from Louise Dempster. Oh, yeah. she's landing big. She She's got to separate, throw more. Askovic is clinching out of desperation, and she knows a few of those heavy shots landed. Oh, she's got double underhook. She needs to come up high, wrap the body. She could really squeeze Askovic here, could Dempster. There you go. She wraps her hands. Let's see her roll them in and use that head. Use your Always use your head, ladies and gentlemen, especially you kids at home that are starting MMA. Use your head, head position. That's where everything starts. 
Oh, this could work well for Dempster. Lee Hasdell's having none of it. He wants to see more of that standing and banging style of Louise Dempster, as does the crowd here in Askevich Dunstable. Askevich is backing up for the first time in this fight. I think she's a bit spent. There's nothing on her shots anymore. So Louise is keeping the power. Yep. She's got to go for Broke. Punches though. and bunches. It's a good chance she's down two rounds. Pressed against the cage again. Those heavy hips are forward for Askvik. Louise Dempster gets her head position and reverses it. Finally, this is what we needed to see in that second round. She's just throwing knees like crazy, battering those legs of Askvik. Somebody isn't going to be doing the salsa at the after party. There's about 30 seconds left in this round. But I will be. Let's see this go. Oh, again, pushes her back into the fence. A bunch of knees hitting. Over here in the corner, Louise Dempster, if she's got, if she's got a takedown in her, could be stealing this round. We got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left for Louise Dempster to make a real statement at the end. She's looking for a head for arm. A trip. Oh, time. What an exciting fight. Lovely and great show of respect from both female fighters. What an excellent fight. But we, talk, we talked about this on a fight earlier. It's to be so frustrating when one fighter wins the first two rounds, but then the, the other fighter comes on so strong in the third. Very, very frustrating. And, and also what's frustrating about this is, is the lack of respect that women's MMA gets on the international and national scene where you see such incredible ability from both female fighters there. And like you've said many times, Chris, these ladies are in the gym every day training with a majority of men. So every round that they win in the gym, they have earned. So this is, a, this is an incredible showcase of talent, composure, and really just just getting down and dirty like a pit bull was Anna Askvik. But such composure there from Louise Dempster. I'm very impressed and look, to, look forward to seeing both ladies back here on Battle Arena, no matter who is the victor. Yeah, Askovic's control in the first two rounds is so impressive, being able to hold her up against the cage, throw some knees, work on the inside, just kind of pressure grinding wrestling style. And then Louise Dempster in the in the third to allow it, keep that power all the way, you know, even though she was tired, still be throwing bombs, still be working hard. And uh, I would have loved to have seen a fourth round, but sadly that's not the way these fights work. And sometimes, like we, we were talking earlier about, you know, well, someone wins the first two, but the other fighter wins the third. You know, in a street fight, whoever's winning at the end was the winner. But this is a sport. Yes, it is. All smiles there from Louise Dempster. As we go to... Well, it was a great performance, great 